Okay, last time we talked about adding colorful overlays to your Google Maps for your geography project. I've added one here and I'm going to add an additional one. So we have two of them to work with for this project. What I'd like to do is now show you how to resize them and remove their backgrounds using a, a simple Word document. The first thing I want to do though is get my little area set up that I'm going to put the overlay on. So this is my second area and I'm just going to change the color so that they look a little bit different from each other. Okay, and the line color. And just as a refresher, the opacity adjustments are made over here for the shape, for the fill, and you can also adjust the uh, line. So, um, tourist zone two. All right, so now I've got two of these shapes. First thing I want to do is take a screenshot of each shape separately from each other. Shift Command four on the Mac. You can use your snipping tool if you're on a PC and select. All right, I'm going to minimize this and I've got a nice Google Doc and I'm ready to insert a picture. Go to Photo and from File. I've got them on my desktop because they're screenshots, so I just have to look for them. Scroll down. There they are. I've got these two here. Choose one. Insert it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background for the picture. Do you see this option in Format Pictures? I click Remove Background and I've now got my shape with the background. So now I'm able to adjust its size if I want it to stand out further than more than the others, rotate it, etc, etc. If I want to be able to move it around a lot more, I need to go control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and format picture and choose layout and choose behind text and that will allow you to just move it around wherever you want it to be placed on your document. I'm going to now click off of it, insert photo and file and select it, the one that we made blue. And again, I'm going to remove the background color from it, okay? Notice it's giving me this little green bit in here. That's probably not, it's another portion of that country that I was, um, or the area that I was um, selecting. And if I click on it, I can remove that additionally to it. So now I have no background when I'm done. So let's say that the red area um, had more tourism than the blue area. Then I've got my little chunks here of the map and I can now format the picture, put it behind the text and I'm able to move them around as well as resize them. Okay, And in this way I can create my new map which indicates whatever information it is I'm trying to indicate. When I'm done with it I can export it. I can do a file save as a PDF which is not editable right? And the same way that a Word document is. Or I can just do a simple screenshot depending on what kind of project I'm going to be using it for. If you're doing a screenshot, make sure you don't hover over the shape first. You'll get that blue outline. And that's all there is to it. Happy mapping! <laughs>